Did God make any mistake while creating real animals? If not, then why are scientists acting like mad, mixing creatures that were never meant to be combined? The world of hybrid animals is getting weirder every day. These strange experiments are not happening in science fiction movies. They're real, and some of them are walking among us. In today's video, we're diving into the most bizarre crossbreed animals that shocked even nature itself. Zonkey, the wild love child of a zebra, and donkey. Sometimes, wild zebras come too close to human villages just to find water, but they end up finding something even more interesting, a flirty little donkey waiting nearby. And in some rare cases, this unexpected meeting leads to something amazing. That's how zonkeys are born, yes. A zebra and a donkey can actually mate even though they have very different DNA. Nature still finds a way, and these animals have even been spotted living in the wild on their own. Donkeys are strong, fast, and pretty impressive to look at. They can grow up to 5 feet tall and weigh around 700 pounds. From their zebra side, they get the gift of speed, running up to 35 miles per hour, and a powerful resistance to diseases that often hurt regular farm animals. Their body is a wild mix, two long ears and a donkey face, but with a bold zebra-style black mane. You can find zonkeys not just in nature but in zoos as well thanks to special breeding programs. They're truly one-of-a-kind creatures, born from a very unexpected love story. Rolar Bear Hybrid Something strange is happening in the wild. For centuries, polar bears and grizzly bears lived far apart, with no reason to meet. But now, because the ice in the north is melting, polar bears are slowly moving south. At the same time, grizzlies are heading north. And guess what? Their worlds have started to mix. People always asked, which one would win in a fight, but nature had other plans. Instead of fighting, they started mating. The result? A rare and powerful mix called the Grawlar Bear, a combination of grizzly and polar bear. Some even call them pizzly bears, which sounds funny but real. The first one was spotted in 2006, and since then, a few more have been officially recorded. Scientists think there are even more out there, hiding in the wild. These hybrid bears look a lot like polar bears, but with bigger claws and darker fur, stronger, wilder, and maybe the future of bear evolution. The Rare Lion-Leopard Mix This might sound like a story from a fantasy book, but it actually happened in Japan. In the 1950s, a zoo called Koshinhanshin Park in Nishiomiya tried something no other nearby zoo had done. While everyone else was busy mixing lions and tigers, this zoo raised a lioness and a male leopard together from birth. By 1959, their plan worked and the world saw its first Leopon cubs. These animals were truly unique, strong like lions but playful like leopards. One of them even lived more than 20 years, which is a big deal since lions usually only live around 13 years in captivity. But the behavior of these Lepons really surprised people. Unlike lions, Lepons love climbing and playing in water. Lion moms usually panic when their babies jump into water, but these mixed cubs were naturals, all thanks to their leopard dad's genes. Experts say this type of crossbreed could possibly happen in the wild too, but only if a very bold male leopard tried to charm a lioness, and that's not something you'd expect to see every day. Jaglion This wild-looking animal is called a jaglion, and yes, it's exactly what it sounds like, a mix between a jaguar and a lion. But here's the twist, this combo could never happen in the wild. Jaguars live in South America, lions are mostly in Africa. And let's just say, lions aren't the biggest fans of swimming across oceans for love. But one rare jaglion was actually created through human care and is now on display in a museum in Hertfordshire, England. It looks like a lion in color, but with the jaguar's muscular body and dark rosette spots all over. Now, here's where it gets even crazier. In 2006, two baby jaglins were accidentally born at Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Canada. A black jaguar named Diablo and a lioness named Lola had grown up together like best friends. But one day, when the zookeepers weren't watching, Diablo decided it was more than just friendship. The result? Two hybrid cubs. The female took after her dad with a shiny black coat, and the male looked more like a light-colored jaguar. That's one surprising family photo. Came a hybrid. Something truly strange happened in 1998 that shocked even animal experts. A group of breeders in the United Arab Emirates managed to do the impossible. They created a hybrid animal by mixing two creatures that lived on completely different continents. One was the dromedary camel from Asia, 
and the other was the llama from South America. These two animals had not seen each other in millions of years, but they still carried ancient genes from a common ancestor that once roamed the Rocky Mountains about 30 million years ago. Now here's the wild part. The animal they created is called the kama. It has the body of a camel and the cute face of a llama. But this wasn't something that happened naturally. Scientists used artificial insemination because a camel is more than six times bigger than a llama. Let's just say nature needed a little help to make this reunion happen. It's like two long lost relatives being brought back together, except one spits and the other carries cargo through deserts. Zors hybrid. This animal looks like something from a fantasy movie. It's called a Zorse, a mix between a zebra and a horse. But in the wild, zebras and horses would never meet. Zebras come from Africa, while wild horses originally lived in North America. In fact, North America's wild horses died out around 10,000 years ago. The horses we see today, they're actually descendants of tame ones brought over by the Spanish during the colonial times. On the other hand, zebras are one of Africa's most famous animals, known for their black and white stripes and wild nature. Back in the 1800s, when zoos got their hands on zebras, people were curious, what if they bred a zebra with a horse? The result was the zorse. It turned out to be stronger and tougher like a zebra, but calmer like a horse. The Zorse also had something special, a natural protection against a deadly disease called Nagana, which often kills horses and donkeys in Africa. Because of these amazing traits, Zorses were once used as working animals and even shown off in zoos. Hini, the donkey horse hybrid. This animal may look like a regular farm creature, but it's actually a rare and special mix. A Hini is born when a male horse and a female donkey mate. Sounds simple, right? But it's not the same as a mule. Mules come from a male donkey and a female horse, and they're much more common. Hennies are different, not just in looks, but also in their nature. They're smaller and act more like donkeys, calm, a bit slow, and very stubborn. And that stubbornness, it's not just attitude, it shows they're smart and careful. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Mules behave more like horses, bold, fast, and full of energy. That's why mules are great for riding, while hennies are perfect for carrying loads. Both are strong in their own way, but when it comes to saying no, hennies win the prize. Their refusal to move isn't laziness, it's their brain telling them this might be dangerous. So next time you see one standing still, just know it's thinking. Savannah Cat This cat looks like it walks straight out of the wild. The Savannah Cat is a rare and exotic mix between a domestic Siamese cat and a wild African serval. Just imagine a cat with golden fur spotted like a cheetah and ears that stand tall like radar dishes. They were first bred in 2001 and quickly caught attention for their wild look and royal presence. But don't be fooled by the fierce style. These cats are super playful and friendly, just like your average house cat. Only way taller. In fact, one of them made it into the Guinness World Records as the tallest domestic cat ever. What's even crazier, this wild-looking feline acts more like a dog than a cat. It follows its owner around the house and constantly wants attention. But owning one isn't easy. These cats are super active and need a big space to play and run. Your average living room won't cut it. And if you're thinking about getting one, better start saving now. A single Savannah cat can cost up to $20,000. Yep, this cat's price is just as wild as its personality. Zo, the Kalyak Hybrid. This animal looks like someone mixed two different creatures and gave it a brand new name. It's called a zo, also known as a dozo, and it's a powerful mix between a cow and a yak. You can find it in Tibet and Mongolia, where people use it on farms. It gives more milk and meat than a normal cow or yak, but it doesn't cost more to keep. That's why farmers love it. With a cow's face, a yak's thick hairy coat, and strong curved horns, the zo stands about 5.5 feet tall and can weigh over 1,300 pounds. What's really wild is that male zows can't have babies, but the females can. That means they can be bred with bulls or yaks to create more hybrids with different mixes of traits. They're super strong, can survive in freezing high altitudes, and are more flexible and active than both their parents. In fact, people even use them to carry heavy loads, up to 300 pounds, while climbing Mount Everest. This strange but amazing animal is now getting attention in other Asian countries too. The goat, a sheep mix, it started like a mystery of nature. Even though goats and sheep have lived side by side for thousands of years, their babies together are almost never born. That's because they don't belong to the same family group. But on rare occasions, a mix happens, and that baby is called a geep. 
Most of the time, these geep are stillborn, meaning they don't survive. But a few special cases have surprised everyone by surviving and living healthy lives. One amazing story comes from Botswana in 2000. A male sheep mated with a female goat and the baby geep was born healthy. It had the legs of a goat, the body of a sheep, and even had both types of fur, wool on the inside, and coarse hair outside. And this little guy was full of energy, chasing every female goat or sheep around. Other geep were later born in the Netherlands in 2011. And in 2014, a petting zoo in Scottsdale, Arizona, welcomed a geep named Butterfly. He was playful, strong, and quickly became the favorite animal among visitors. Bengal cat. Back in the 1980s, a woman named Jean Sugden Mill created a stunning new cat breed by mixing a wild Asian leopard cat with the regular house cat. The result? The Bengal cat. This cat looks like a mini jungle predator, but has the calm nature of a pet. But don't let the sweet face fool you. Bengals are full of wild energy. They love to climb, explore, and jump like acrobats. Some can leap more than 10 feet in the air. That's why people call them flying cats. They're not your average lap cat. Bengals need lots of toys, space, and attention, or they'll get bored and start breaking things. But they're also super smart. You can even train them to do tricks. What makes them extra special is their shiny marbled fur. Thanks to something called the glitter gene, their coats sparkle in the sunlight like they've just walked out of a 70s disco party. Beefalo, the super cow buffalo mix. <laughs> this animal has the coolest name and an even cooler story. Meet the beefalo a powerful mix between a domestic cow and an American buffalo. It first happened by accident in the 18th century, but farmers quickly realized this hybrid was a gift. The beefalo could survive tough weather, didn't eat as much as regular cows, and their meat? People say it's even tastier than normal beef. With benefits like these, more farms are now raising them. They usually have dark hair, gentle nature, and can grow up to 2,000 pounds. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Unlike regular cattle, beefaloes hardly get sick and live long, active lives. A cow stops having babies by 10 years old. But beefaloes can stay fertile until 25. Their babies are born smaller, which makes birth safer, but they grow fast and strong. To get the perfect beefalo, it usually takes a few generations aiming for a mix of two-thirds cow and one-third buffalo. This animal isn't just unique in name. It might be the future of farming. Zubron the Giant Hybrid this animal looks like it came from a science lab, but it's very real. The Zubron is a mix between a domestic cow and a European bison. It was first bred in Poland and officially named in the 1960s. But here's a surprise. The very first Zubron was created way back in 1847 by a man named Leopold Wallachy. These animals are huge. Some can weigh up to 2,600 pounds. What makes them special is their strength. They don't get sick easily and can live in cold, tough climates without a problem. After World War I, some scientists believed the Zubron could replace cows around the world. They were serious about it. The Polish Academy of Sciences kept working on breeding them all through the 1900s. The dream was that people might even eat Zubron meat instead of regular beef. Imagine having a Zubron sandwich in your lunchbox. <laughs> While they didn't become as popular as hoped, scientists still think Zubron could be a smart alternative to cattle in the future. Would you want to see one up close? Take on the rare big cat mix. This animal looks like a creature from a wild fantasy, but it's real. A tigon is born when a male tiger mates with a female lion. Long ago, lions and tigers lived in the same parts of Asia, so this mix could have happened naturally. But today, tigons only exist because humans bred them in captivity. Even though both parents come from the same big cat family, the tigon usually can't have babies, which makes it one of the rarest animals on Earth. What's really cool is how a tigon looks. It has tiger stripes, a bit of a lion's mane if it's a male, and even faint spots that lions actually have, but most people don't notice. It's smaller than a tiger because it inherits growth-limiting genes from its lion mom. Still, it's no house cat. A fully grown tigon can weigh around 400 pounds. Powerful, rare, and mysterious, this cat is truly one of a kind. Wolf in hybrid. This strange sea creature starts with a wild twist. It's called a wolfen. Sounds funny, right? But it's real. A wolfen is born when a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale mate. Now, <laughs> false killer whales may not be true whales, but they're massive, over 20 feet long, and they look more like killer whales than dolphins. These ocean giants are known for mixing with other species, especially the males. They'll swim with different pods and try to mate with just about any creature nearby. And that's exactly how this unusual animal came to be. 
The very first Wolfen ever recorded was Name. Keikai Malu, born in 1985 inside a marine park, she looked a lot like a dolphin but was way bigger and had fewer teeth, which came from her false killer whale parent. And guess what? Keikai Malu even gave birth to a daughter named Kawi Kai, making her the only known second-generation wolfen. These rare animals are mostly found in captivity and almost never in the wild, but their story shows just how strange and unpredictable nature can be. So, were these hybrids amazing or just terrifying? One thing's clear. Science has truly crossed the line between nature and madness. If this blew your mind, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more wild stories from the edge of reality.